Sometimes what can be confusing is, okay, does it make sense to move a 1% car loan to a 9% debt? Off face surface value there, I'm gonna say no. But if it was a 8% line of credit and I had a 7% car loan and I'm at the very beginning of that car loan, I could make a very good argument, depending on the numbers of the individual in the capsule and what we would gain, we can make a very good argument that no, actually my 8% is going to be less than on a daily periodic rate, less than the 7% making extra payments. Because understand extra payments does bring down the 7% cost. Maybe it brings it down to six, five and a half. Whereas my 8% line might bring my actual net cost down to two or three. So then you make that comparison, then it creates a couple months of a gap. Then the other value here is the control factor. Every thousand I make towards that car, I no longer have access to it. Every thousand that I have in cash flow that goes into the line of credit, I can reaccess those funds again. So my name is Denzo Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. I do a lot of case studies, looking at velocity banking, showing when it makes sense, when it doesn't. I'm even someone that recognizes that, wait a minute, we can combine velocity banking and debt snowball together. We can get the best of both worlds and say, we could maybe start out with debt snowball, making extra payments towards your debt, then strategically acquiring a line of credit to speed things up. And then maybe by the time we get to the mortgage, maybe we don't do it. Or maybe we don't pay off that 1% car loan with this 9% line of credit. And we just go back to extra payments. So when you map out the person that's incorporating both compared to the person that's just doing one, you could absolutely make an argument. This person's going to be out of debt faster in you know record time. And also they have more liquidity, more capital to work with. They can take that same mindset of accelerating debt using a, a line of credit, these different tools, take that same mindset and apply it towards investing and making money. What if, what if instead of just paying off debt, what if we use the line of credit to invest, right? At say a 8% line to double your money. You put $50,000 into a project, into a business, and it creates another $50,000 and it costs you 8% to do it. And then if you incorporate a velocity, you bring that 8% down to four. So you borrowed at four to invest 50 to generate 50 more thousand, a hundred total, hundred percent return or 25% return, depending on what it is that you're doing. Maybe you acquired a business. Maybe you're building a personal brand. Maybe you start a YouTube channel. Maybe you join someone's business and that's going to increase your income and it requires capital or startup whatever it may be maybe you just simply invest in the market using and leveraging debt and just creating arbitrage you're arbitraging the debt so many possibilities here it just gets your gets you to you know think right? a lot different.